Hi guys, <laughs> this room, the goddamn light inside here really kills me. Hi guys, I really had no motivation to vlog and I feel like I've, I had kind of fallen out of the groove of things in terms of like not really having the motivation to like get up and vlog. Like I'd be up late watching movies on Netflix or like catching up on YouTube videos and stuff like that because obviously there isn't much else to do when you're like stuck inside or whatever so I do that so late and then I wake up late in the day I wake up at like um I have an alarm set to wake me up at 10 in the mornings just so I give my body enough time to sleep and most of the mornings I still wake up at like 8 or so and then I'll like go back to sleep and then the alarm goes off again at 10 and sometimes I'll stop it and then go back to sleep or sometimes I'll actually get up that time and then like try to probably start my day by making some breakfast or like getting up and showering but then i found that right after i did that i was like right back in bed and i'll get up like one o'clock or so start cooking dinner be done by two probably eat by like three o'clock or so and then i'm back to laying down and watching tv like i've had the most intimate relationship with my bed these last <laughs> These last couple of weeks, to be honest, like I cannot even make this shit up. Before this, I loved my bed, okay? Always loved my bed. Sheets, that's my thing. You know what I mean? But um, not really having much to do. It's like you wake up, but you don't have like a, I don't want to say purpose to sound dramatic, but there's no point to the day. Like you don't have anything that you have to go and do. Like you don't have to go be productive. So knowing in the back of your mind that you don't have to go be productive, you don't want to. And I feel like it's just the same as I'm an introvert. Like I like being inside. I like my own space. I like my own company. I don't talk if I don't have to, you know, that's just how I am. And I like being inside. But it's something about being told to stay inside that makes you itch to go outside even more. It's like kids, when you tell them not to do something, they want to do it more because like they're wondering why you're saying not to do it. Obviously, I know why we're like inside and why we have to be inside. And of course, that's very important to me. So I have been staying inside. Like I haven't even gone on a little walk or anything like that. And I, you know, if I'm home and I'm up to it, I'll like go for a little walk and we live in a nice a, a decent neighborhood where you know you can walk around a couple of blocks and like come back and whatever but the furthest I've gone in like two weeks is to the grocery store and that's like 10 minutes say 12 minutes walk up the block and 12 minutes back and that's the most exercise I've done too in however long but you know it's just not fun times but we want this to go away so I'm making sure that I do my part and like stay inside or there that was my groceries delivered now should I just slice all the bags I don't know so I'm gonna do that because I don't know I was also helping my daughter with homework so I have this book on the table here but my camera my camera setup right now is very janky I'm gonna just tell you guys that right now like it's not even a proper setup which means that any minute now the camera could come tumbling down which is not what I want, essentially, but that's the setup. Anyways, I thought that the grocery store would be absolutely empty, but it's not. There were a few things to get. I managed to snag some fresh items, so I'm going to go down there and I'm going to lice all the bag, just because. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but... I feel like it wouldn't hurt if I did. I'm really hoping my camera does not fall off right now. But I'm gonna lice all, all these bags. Just, you know, hide. Wow, well, my battery's dying. I just turned the camera on. I bought this 20 pound bag of jasmine rice. 
to last for a hot minute so that's this I got meat I pretty much just eat chicken and pork so um I got two things of pork loin from this half of the freezer and I'm gonna wipe it out right now because it's been a while since that section has been this empty I feel like I need to make this salmon so I'm gonna take it out to make it even though I had taken some my husband really likes salmon and I need to make this because it's gonna get freezer burnt clean out this section of the freezer as best as I can because I'm not trying to unplug it right now I have too much things in this freezer to really unplug it I also have frozen fruits inside here, guys, that I'm supposed to be using to make smoothie. See? Frozen berries. And I still can't get to this. I'm going to put it in the freezer here, so I'll at least remember it. I wanted to stop by the Dollar Tree to buy one of these brushes, but it was too much people inside of there. And honestly, I was not trying to... um go in there with that many people and I was just coming from the darn grocery store with so much people. I'm like, uh-uh, <laughs> this is too much human interaction right now. Let me stay away from all this. And put the chicken in. This is three packages of chicken. One, two, three. And then I have um, two of pork. What can I put behind the bat? I can put these fries. Never get to them anyways. I have this bag of fish that my mom gave me. That could go behind there too because I don't know when I'm going to get to that fish. Then I have, this is frozen chicken wings. Freaking chicken nuggets. And this is my acai um, mix. Do I have any other meat to go in the freezer? Well, I have this ground beef. I need to make that too. And I have these peppers. And that's it. And so we're done with the freezer.
guys this is many many days later from um the video that you guys are currently watching and um i didn't close out the video but i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next vlog